it's not public. It's not just there ready, ready for the rest of us to grab and see. And one of your questions is, why not? That's when our friends at Open the Books published this bombshell. CEO and founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Angievsky, joining us. Open the Books says... Founder of OpenTheBooks.com. They sound to me like pretty terrific individuals. Adam Angievsky of Open the Books determined that those guys received $10.5 million in public funding. So when Elon Musk said, who's funding these detractors of free mm-hmm. speech? Well, the answer is us. According to the nonprofit Open the Books, and hats off to Open the, the Books. An organization called Open the Books ran the data, looked at the numbers, and the numbers you just cited come from the federal government itself. I've never heard of anything like that. That's thanks to a nonprofit called Open the Books. How is this ethical? Openthebooks.com. Openthebooks.com. Adam Angieski joins me live now. Adam, I love this story so much. I love these people, don't you? They're badasses. The same Open the Books group that uncovered the NIH royalty payments published this. But according to a watch... Dog group, Open the Books. Openthebooks.com recently did an audit of government spending. The government watchdog group Open the Books said Freedom of Information Act requests were ignored. This is very disturbing. On Openthebooks.com. Joining us now is the founder of Openthebooks.com. You've been working for years to try to hold our public officials to account and to expose more information about the money that we as taxpayers spend and where exactly it's going when it comes to our federal workers. To me is the height of the appearance of a conflict of interest. My Unbelievable, hope, My right? hope things have well, changed. Don't, don't, don't right that grab your attention when, when <laughs> yeah. you see that, though. You're like, what? what is going on? Here to talk about that this morning, we're joined by Adam Angievsky, CEO and founder with OpenTheBooks.com. Just obfuscation, indignation, but no information. At least none that's correct. Why? Why? Oh, my now, gosh. Michael, <laughs> thanks to the fantastic work of Open the Books, a non-profit, non-partisan, charitable organization for that fantastic piece of information. That's what democracy could look like, should look like. Transparency, power being held to account, open conversations. Okay, th- you just described the whole point of journalism is to tell people what their government, which they pay for, which claims to represent them, is actually doing 